Hi everyone, this is the Tech Talk and I will be today presenting the CP ARC discrete investigation. So uh, the outcome of this investigation is the is the document you can find in your ARC docs. Here is the link if anybody needs it. I hope you all of you know where the ARC documentation is living. And what we did uh, during this investigation or what was the purpose, purpose of this investigation was to find something that could uh, potentially replace Pagur Distkit and make it uh, make it uh, more gitforge agnostic so we can have solution that will not be too hard to actually use with something else a good this did is so much uh tied to the pagur itself it actually just it's just a uh, plugin or team for Pagur, so it's using most of the Pagur uh, code base. And we would like to have something that would be more agnostic regarding the forge that we will use. Okay, so that was more or less the background about it. I will first talk about some of the uh terms that are used here like what is actually the disk git the disk git is the distribution git and it's a way we manage the distribution packages and the sources for those in fedora and uh it is i'm not sure if this term is being used by other distributions but in fedora we are saying that the disk is the git for distributing the uh, distribution or distribution git and it's just uh, comp has the sources and uh, uh, packages sources for packages and that is more or less it this is from what is where the packages are being built from so as part of this arc investigation we were uh, looking at various uh, services in uh, Fedora uh, ecosystem and how they are interacting with uh, Pagur. If the, with uh, Pagur diskit, if there wasn't any interaction, they are not here. So if you don't see something that should be here, uh, it's you. It's probably because there isn't any interaction or no, not direct interaction, at least. I will just quickly go through the interactions because there isn't much to see. It's usually just the mapping, what we found out that the, the Git is, Git is actually using the service for our other way around the service is using the disk it for. So there are some API calls, uh, some configuration uh, uh, values, and uh, the changes we propose to actually make this work uh, with the new disk it solution. So yeah, this is mostly same for all of those so i will not go, go through any uh, everything but uh, what i want to highlight here are the federal packages which are actually uh, mapping the interactions between federal packages as a group that is creating the packages and working with this git uh how they actually interacting with this git so here are a few workflows that are being used, like, uh, for example, a git push workflow, where you have the packages machine, you are 
using the fed package to upload to add new sources the sources are downloaded from uh, uh, based on the spec file and uh, they are doing changes in the local git and then just push it either by fed package push or git push and this will create them on this git so this is mostly standard uh, git operations not uh, much else uh, the pr based workflow is similar with the pr being created on the way it's usually when you are having a new branch and just trying to create the uh, create it so yeah and this is from what from as far as i know this is the only thing that we have regarding the package workflow uh, then uh, what is interesting is the summary this is there is a map that is actually trying to comprehend how the disk it or what is actually communicating with this kit uh, or what the disk it is communicating with and how like for example uh, what is this kit doing is to uh, publishing messages which are being consumed and it uh, uses Pagur schema for this so it doesn't even have its own schema for pushing uh, for uh, publishing messages otherwise there are plenty of other sources or other services that are actually just uh, using api for this gate or uh, interacting with it uh, using the http requests there are a few that are doing the git uh, git uh, uh, interactions directly with the disk git so yeah it's usually just just a few of those either api packages or api uh, request http request or uh, just git requests git commands okay uh, let me go back and here are the list of all the apis called we actually found all the pain called by everything because it has the pagur as its base uh, we needed to find out what is actually being used in case of this kit because not everything is being used and there are few api uh, i'm just trying to find them yeah there are a few API that are this git specific and those are those has the prefix uh, underscore dg like this git and uh, there are a few of them that are actually specific just for the this git in case of messaging schema these are the messaging stack being consumed by other services that the this git is actually doing uh, the, this is just a sub uh, uh, sub uh, uh, how to say it uh, just like a part of the whole pagur messaging schema so only few things are actually used for the http endpoints there are two there are three that are actually specific for uh, the disk it or not really specific but uh, they are being uh, something that isn't uh, isn't uh, something that is uh, basic or simple this is uh, creating some json uh, json uh, answers or json uh, files that uh, this could be accessed on specific urls which is something that uh, needs to be taken in consideration when creating a new one then the git interactions which are actually plain git interactions it's usually git push git commit uh, git commit is not actually doing anything with this git so with this git you have git push git clone and git fetch 
the cell, the basic git, git commands. Uh, for access control, this is something that needs to be re-implemented because this is completely implemented in Pakur, and it's actually just doing the uh, controlling the access of the users to specific uh, branch or uh, repository. So it actually handles the question who could commit to this repository, who can uh, push to this repository and so on. Uh, web interface features, there are few that are uh, worth to mention and that are not part of the Pagur itself. And uh, that the this kit actually contains, uh, I can actually show it. It will be probably just easier to show. Uh, if you open any project, uh, if you open any project, you can see links to Koji, Bodhi, Bugzilla, Fedora packages, and Koshe. So you can actually, let me open one. Ah, here. So here, these links is what I'm talking about. You can see direct links to this repo or this package on various other uh, services. Uh, the other thing that is specific is the issue stuff is not really doing anything. It's just redirecting you to Bugzilla. And uh, you can set the monitoring status for the uh, repository, which is used by, by releasemonitoring.org. And uh, orphaning and taking, taking packages. You can orphan, take package. If you have uh, permissions to do that, you can do it. Otherwise, there is nice that you can see the stay versions and releases uh, in various releases, which is nice to see. But it's not any special special functionality. It's just a table on the page. Uh, OK, let me get back to this. And the last thing that is uh, mentioned here uh, are the two things, the fast integration. This is. Uh, just to authenticate users and it's uh, based on Pagur fast authentication. So it has the same issues as it. And the last thing is the local site cache, which is just uh, on the server where the disk kit is hosted. There is just uh, some uh, disk space that is being used for the sources for packages. These are the tar files that you are uh, just uh, getting to uh, getting when you do the fat package sources and then when you do the upload of these sources it will put them in the Lucas site cache which is later used for building the packages itself uh, okay and that is the current disk deployment and here is the replacement that we actually want to use so this could be somewhat confusing at the first, but uh, the basic idea behind this is that we will have uh, this Git that will be just the front end and it will use the Git uh, lying, uh, lying uh, behind it. And it will just convert through the compatibility layer the HTTP API calls from various uh, services or scripts and just do this, uh, call them for the specific Git Forge. So only thing that will need to be replaced when we will uh, just change the Git Forge in future, it will be to change the compatibility layer, which will just will call other HTTP API on the other end or the git api it depends what we will change git api should be same the git commands will not change but uh, the http api for gitlab or github would be different so this will be what will be changing other than that we should uh, we will not be uh, not need to change anything there will be few new things like uh, for uh, managing the sources 
we will use the git uh, lfs which is the large file uh, solution or i'm not sure what is the s what the s stands for but it's actually for a hard handling git with large files which will be what we which we want to use right now but uh, we are no limited that uh, we don't uh, we ha don't have this implemented and this will be actually the improvement at all and the second improvement is to be able to actually change to anything else in the future uh there are even some kind of uh legend for this like uh, the, which uh which applications are managed by what team and this is actually the replacement these three components okay i will skip this because this is just a list of the uh of the uh services and this is the message handler for the new disk it it will actually not be that different it will just at least for the start to not break anything we will use the same schema as pagur has and maybe in the future we will just replace it by one by one with something disk it specific and it will just send the messages and listen to anything that we need. And here is the disk it service. This is just a more uh, detailed view of the disk it service itself. So there is public access. This will be the HTTP API uh, for, for the Git. And this is H API. There will be core services like HS control list. Uh, this will be probably based on the forge because this is usually set on the forge side. It depends that uh, what we get to, but uh, we will just ask the forge who has access and that would be it. In most cases, Git, standard Git uh, the uh, deployment, uh, Git LFS will be for light shares, binaries and source tables. And uh, there is webhooks, which will be just for event-based activity execution. Same as the Pagur has right now, that you can actually do something based on a CI or a, anything else, or uh, so to actually create the CI uh, event in case uh, something happens okay and the last thing here is the http resources which will be just the front end where you can see all of this in one place and this will get us to the last part and that is the compatibility meta service which is just the translation layer in your case we will have uh, the diskit uh, dependent projects and diskit service on your side that will be the new one and there will be the compatibility layer that will just take the uh, request from the diskit uh, project diskit dependent projects uh, just go through api server do the translation and then uh, just put it to the diskit so diskit could understand it it will be probably the translator will be just used for uh, anything that we will uh, that will need to be changed which in your case will be uh, any operation that will go through this git uh, to the new git forge because this will probably change uh, all the requests that are now done directly against Pagbur will be going through this compatibility meta service and will be just translated to something the new uh, diskit actually understands and can do something with it. The same for the responses. And there is actually 
all we have. Uh, I will just mention uh, that we made some roadmap that this should be done actually uh, slowly. We should first know what the Git Forge will be used if we want to get uh, rid of Pagur or just use something else than Pagur. Uh, then we will need to look at the API and how we can actually use it with the current API that is available. Uh, the bonus will be to adding the Git large uh, file system support. Yeah, Git large file system. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that will be um, win for us in every way. Then uh, there will be the compatibility meta service that will actually uh, happens first, and we can do anything uh, above it that will just have some kind of uh, some kind of uh, web front end or, or anything. Uh, we will create the staging deployment, which will be probably on some subdomain first, so we don't uh, actually break the old one, and we can just try and uh, play with it and see if this will work and what needs to be done. Uh, we will try to point the, all the disk git staging URLs to new subdomain so we can try that if everything works. And uh, uh, there is a follow up with the externally maintained application. Uh, if we keep the API scheme that we have right now. We don't need to do that and just skip this step. It will be only needed if we need to change something in the API, like something that is not uh, great in the current se settings or not usable in the new one. In ideal case, we would uh, need we wouldn't need to actually change anything in case of uh, uh, in case of the other services that are actually using the disk git. Just point them to the new one, and everything should work. Uh, yeah, we would like to get the feedback at this star uh, this uh, state, so people could start testing it, uh, could uh, see if this actually works for them, if there isn't anything that uh, should be changed. And uh, if this will, will go well, we will do the same process for the production one. And announce the, yeah, the uh, deprecation of the old one. And decommission the old one. And that is probably everything. We, your estimation is that we will probably need for people, three, four people working working on this for two quarters because uh, this will be a lot of work. And one of them should be sysadmin that uh, should help with the deployment of the new uh, new solution. And definitely there will be documentation as part of these steps. It's just not mentioned that. Okay, that is all I have to share. I see that this is already taking half a hour. So uh, does anybody has any question from people that very, that actually joined? Yeah, sorry for being so late, Mikhail. Um I have one or two questions about it, but firstly, thank you for the, the in-depth um, investigation here and the excellent write-up. I look forward to reading it again. Um, but the investigation, this just purely deals with the, the disk git part. And does it relate more to packagers or is there other project teams within the Fedora project that would be affected by this change? Uh, actually, actually, all that are mentioned here will be affected. Okay. Those are so all the services that are actually uh, really interacting with this git okay in ideal place they 
wouldn't be any change or any disruption on their side. It will be just that they are getting a new endpoint to point to in the case of this git. But uh, in the case of uh, Fedora packagers, there will be probably changes for them in case of how the this git will look and maybe with uh, how the uh, packages will be or the uh, in ideal case it will be that we will just uh, point the to the git repository in any git forge we will uh, go for so if you uh, click in the yeah i already closed it uh, but if you click on the source in in the pull rec uh, in the this git, it will redirect you to the git page git okay. itself. Perfect. So, so this will be this could maybe be something that will uh, confuse people at first, uh, but it will make it more easier because they will work with any git for they actually want to work with okay. or they know at least hopefully <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the this git part will be just for overview of anything that is happening and uh, for communicating with the services that need it, need it and uh, they'll be there and for uh, so some of the other things like uh, changing the orphan status or um adding uh, the monitoring settings mm. okay the um the reason i ask is because there's a discussion open on discourse.fpo which i'm sure it's on the to do to post these findings in and i think it's been referenced a few times that this work has been undergo under way but the the discussion is around like long-term planning for um basically diskit uh fedora set up with diskit there's probably going to be some sort of like a community effort to investigate now, like various Git forages for options. And um, this investigation would be like a perfect baseline for people to start with because it's it's so comprehensive. It gives you the overview of exactly what packagers interact with all the services. So I, this is more of a suggestion to throw some visibility I, on this work over there. Yeah, I remember I. Uh did uh, at this uh, at the link to this investigation uh to some i think it was fesco ticket oh, and i'm yeah. not sure if it's the it's not the same you are actually talking about no there was um there's a, a split off discussion so the original fesco ticket was around git forge evaluations and then there was a point made in the discussion where there should be we should kind of like narrow the focus of the conversation so to oh, me okay. it felt like the most the most pressing the most immediate the most impactful part of the git forge puzzle is the disk git piece and, and that front layer what packages actually interact with so there's a discussion around long-term planning for the service i just can't remember oh, what i called it damn traffic <laughs> yeah i i'm actually looking uh thought i get it to the git forge evaluation 2024 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would I would link it or I'll find you the link to the other one somewhere. But uh, um, it's you can you can uh, just point to the thread that we actually have in this course for the investigation. We are actually the, asking people for feedback to this. Excellent. Okay, good. And um, last question is I I assume <clears throat> that the work that CPE will take on for this will will be alongside community involvement when there's been like a formal decision made on the project that the, the work here is not going to start until the, the project itself is cut off. Is that correct? Yeah, we don't uh, plan to start on this till we will know actually what Gitforge will be used. And I hope this will be probably starting as Fedora initiative or federal project initiative and not uh, very initiative by cp yeah that's itself thank you again for for putting all the work and effort into it and the rest of the team
Thanks. I will just stop the recording now. If there isn't any other question. Okay, it doesn't seem like. Thanks all for listening.